And we have you loud and clear from Oscar Romeo 4 ISS. How are you? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I am happy to be talking to the students in Faso. This is a great question. You know, like when we're up here on the ISS, it is so nice to float. You feel very free to be able to float and also to look out the window and look at our beautiful planet and it just brings you so much joy to see our beautiful planet and all of the weather and oceans and thinking about the people on earth over I think this is Erica I think the question was about what what how long the journey in space is it takes um, about 10 minutes to get to space, but then to rendezvous with the space station might take anywhere from about four hours to two days. And we're up here now for about six months. Over. So I think the question is coming in a little bit broken, over, but um, I think the question is about sounds and noises. And, you know, we live in a essentially a building, so there's all sorts of noises and sounds in here of, of pumps and fans running, but also because uh, the sun is on part of the spacecraft, sometimes we hear noises outside as the metal is changing. When you're out in space, you hear only the noises from inside your helmet, unless you're holding on to something that might be vibrating, and then you can hear that noise since noise is a vibration. Over. routine of physical fitness activities up here. We have a treadmill, we have a bicycle, and we also can lift weights using vacuum as the source for the, for the weight. So yes, we work on muscle and bone mass um, every day while we're up here on ISS. Nicolo. So we try not to do that. We practice. We have very disciplined procedures to make sure that we have we are connected to the space station at all times. But if by chance that breaks or if we make a mistake, we do have a backpack on our spacesuits that hopefully we could fly back to the space station. We practice this using virtual reality. Over. <laughs> Yes, uh, hopefully we don't get sick because we go into quarantine before we come here, so most anything that w we could have, any um, like colds, we won't bring up here. But you could get hurt while you're up here, or you, know, something, you could have some reaction, for example, to some type of food. So we do have a whole uh, a bunch of equipment, medical equipment, and we are ready, we're all trained to uh, help each other. And actually, right now we have a doctor on board, but we always have doctors in mission control. Over. So me specifically, I uh, joined the military, so I went to the Naval Academy, but there's astronauts who are doctors and scientists and engineers. So everybody has a, a, a education in STEM, um, usually people get a master's degree or work on a team for about, uh, you know, a couple of years and become a leader and be part of that team uh, before you become an astronaut. Over. Those temperature changes 
as the sun sets or the sun rises. Over. So our daily routine is sort of just like on Earth. We keep our time on the same as uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, we wake up around 6 o'clock. I specifically, me and a couple people, work out early in the morning. Uh, you can work out at any time of the day. But then we have tasks. Sometimes they're science uh, activities. Sometimes we're doing uh, tests on ourselves. Sometimes we're doing organizing. Sometimes we're doing maintenance on the space station. And sometimes we are getting ready for a spacewalk or doing robotic arm operations. So I think the question was about day and, and night, right? Because it, we orbit the planet 16 times a day. So we, we keep a normal day and we keep the lights on uh, during the day. And then when it's time to go to sleep, we turn the lights off and shut the shutters to make it like nighttime. So we tried to keep a normal human day while we're up here. Over. Yes, we do, but we have the ability to talk to them on ham radio or on a, a family meeting conference over the computer system on the weekend. So we get to be in touch with our family and friends, but I really miss my dogs because I can't talk to them. Over. experiments on capillary flow and surface tension and uh, we sort of 